Hi, a robot AI pool cleaner update. Let's take a look at a time lapse video of uh, my new Maddie Mac, um, same brand as my heat pump, uh, Aussie brand here. I've got the i60 AI robot pool cleaner. AI, yes, you know when it's they say AI, it's just uh, more if then statements and it's just marketing BS. But anyway, let's uh, have a look at uh, the time lapse that I'll show you in a minute. Cordless robotic pool cleaner, untangle yourself with Maddie Max GT Freedom. Cordless intelligent navigation. We'll see if it's intelligent. App control, haven't tried that. Apparently it doesn't do anything. Wi-Fi eh, app, who cares? Premium lithium ion battery and advanced uh, Invermac technology. What's Invermac? I don't know. It brings an updated cleaning experience uh, for you and your pool. Sit back and relax while it does the business. Anyway, um, so there it is. Diving down and uh, scooping up all your leaves and all your, um, it's got a micro mesh. Um, my one's the six hour model. I've got the i60 uh, with 10,000 milliamp hour pack, but I've used it for about, I think about three hours total now, and it seems to have run out, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Have a look at the brochure. Ultimate combination of freedom, convenience, and performance. An engineered masterpiece, adapting to any pool size or shape and providing a pristine, a pristine clean without the manual labor. Built to include, uh, built to include advanced lithium ion battery, breed DC brushless motor, and intelligent navigation for long lasting and efficient operation. More clean and less charging up to eight hours of runtime and four weeks operation. You can set the duration, half hour, one hour, and two hours, I think, or, and finer if you've got the stupid app, um, and the duration, every, like every day, every second day, every fourth day, or something like that. Enhanced efficiency supported by superior motor performance and precision design hardware and smart features. It's got new inverter drive for the motor or something. Dual drive, uh, increased power and advanced mobility. Intelligent navigation system, advanced cleaning coverage, multi-sensor control and infrared guidance system. So yeah, it's got two infrared sensors on the front here by the looks of it. And also I believe there's one either side here. On, there's a window, a similar sort of window either side. So I think that's got uh, four infrared sensors on it. Um, and yeah, so th this is the breakdown. I've got the i60, supposed to have six hours, but as I said, I think I've only gotten about three, maybe. Oh, I just realized why I don't have six. Endurance time, just in floor mode is six hours. But if you want floor wall mode, I've just been using wall mode and we'll see that time lapse in a minute, three and a half hours. Okay, so that does seem to match. Um, yeah, I got about three hours, something like that, a little bit more than that. So yeah, yeah, it's about bang on there. 10 amp hour battery, 262 watt hours there. Yeah, you can do half hour, one hour, two hour run times, uh, cycle, 24, 48, 72 hours. It's got 3D S path with the uh, Invermac. Yes, an app application, who cares? Filter capacity, 3.2 liters. Uh, it's got 180 micron um, mesh on it or 80 for the mesh. What, why is it different? I don't get it. Um, pump flow rate, uh, 300 to 150 liters uh, per minute. Uh, well, my pump is, um, I think, 250 liters per minute for the entire pool pump, uh, just as a comparison. Running power, uh, 110 to 30 watts, depending on if it's climbing up the wall, it's gonna chew more power than just going along the floor. And it can do 12 meters per minute. Uh, it's got three motors in, it's got a little impeller in the top, um, just to, to keep it down to the, I guess, you know, <laughs> keep extra uh, weight on the uh, floor uh, above its own um, buoyancy weight. So it weighs 12 kilos and Bob's your uncle. Okay, let's watch the time-lapse. Now, the reason I did this time-lapse is because I did shoot like a, a live video while it was going. I did some commentary on that. I'll link it in if you haven't seen it. And it seemed to be like going on an angle across the pool and stuff I've seen on this, it's supposed to go straight across, but it was going on an angle like this and it did seem to map um, kind of okay, but it wouldn't go up the sides. Like it went up the sides at the end at first, like right to the top. Uh, my pool's about 1.8 meters deep, right at that, well, it's at that deepest point there, but it's at probably 1.6 there, right, right at the end. And it's shallower at this end down here. And it's got one big lip um, about 30 centimeters below the water there, uh, right going right along the pool there. And I didn't know what it would do with that. Um, and it's also got uh, this step um, actually protruding out here. So once again, I didn't know what it was gonna do with that. So yeah, I'm putting it down in the shallow end because the two previous times I used it, I put it in the deep end and it seemed to, every time I went out to check it, it seemed to be just hovering around this end down here. Now I've got to say that the 
uh, actual filter mesh filtering works great. Um, I'll get a photo of that. So there's the filter there. This was after the very first operation we got. Uh, we used it after we got back from holidays. Two weeks of not uh, using the pool. Scooped up some major leaves here and it really caught a lot of fine stuff and we've used it a couple for 30 minutes. Um, it, twice for 30 minutes after that and uh, it really got a lot of fine particles out of the pool. So that, uh, what is it, 120 micron or 80 micron mesh or something, it really does get a lot a ton of fine little, bleh, um, you know, yucky stuff out of the pool. So the filtering uh, is really good. So anyway, here we go. I put it in. I'm going to have a clock down here. So I've got it set to one hour um, um, operation. Previously, this is the first time I've used it for an hour. So I don't think half an hour is enough. So I'm going to play it in real time and commentate. So here we go. I've already, uh, you, once you put it in, you've got to get the bubbles out. So you've got to move it around like that. I tried to drop it down like straight so it would go across the pool um but anyway let's let's have a look here we go so there we go and we're counting down for the one hour so it goes up the side here so it goes up the side and then it goes back and it didn't go it, it handled that lip properly it didn't like come up and fall over that lip so maybe it's actually sensing that so it's gone back and forth a few times it's probing the side wall and it came it popped you saw it it popped right up the top here so it, it does can't look it, it did it again Right? So it, it, it's going like <laughs> there, right? So it did center, then it did right, then it did left. And then it's, it now it's, it's going along like that on this wall here. Now, this was not a full battery. So I bet, well, for some reason, it decided to go to the other end and you saw it went right up the end of the walls, right? And it's going back and forth on the longitudinal axes. It doesn't show that in like the, uh, the marketing material shows just side by side of the pool. But this is what it's decided to do, okay? And why it went up there near the uh, lead light there, I got no idea, right? And it's going up the side. As I said, I this does not have... Look, and it sort of gets stuck there. I don't know what... <laughs> was, that the, uh, was that the light there? And look, there's a huge gap there. Now, and it can't make it up this side wall here. So what's going... It, like, so it's making its way along the pool, right? sort of like horizontally across like that, but huge gaps. It's missing huge gaps like that. And it can't seem to get up this wall on the right, this shallow wall on the right-hand side. Now, as I said, it seems confused here. Is it drunk? <laughs> What's it doing, right? And now it's gone long ways again. And this, look, you can see it doing its path. It just moves over a little bit and goes like that. It's on an angle, but that's okay. But it does actually move across. I thought it was gonna, it was slipping previous times I've used it, but it doesn't seem to slip or anything. It's just confused about where to go. <laughs> and yeah, those bursts of water, you can see there, there that's the Im impeller starting up and it just shoots water up uh, to the top. So it's forcing it, forcing it down. I presume that's its function like that. So now it's doing floor mode. Now it's per it seems to have permanently gone into floor mode now. Because as I said, um, this did not have a full charge. It only had barely, it had one bar. It's got three bars on the battery. So it probably had a third of battery left. So maybe there is, it goes into some power saving mode when it realizes, oh, I've still got an hour left. And well, I've just still got 10 minutes left and my battery is, you know, almost, uh, almost depleted. I can't get up the walls anymore. Um, but it doesn't say anything about any of that in the manual or any of the marketing material. So I can, I, I you know, maybe, I don't know, um, but it should do it like it should. Maybe that's an intelligent part of the thing um, is it saves battery because it does use more going up the walls, like twice the amount of power. Um, so, yeah, but you'll see it does not go up the walls anymore. So I can only presume that that is an intelligent function because it knows it's getting low. Once I finish this test, it was complete. It was, there were no lead bars left. It was out of battery, but it did make the full hour. So I've got um, four minutes left. And you can see that it's now going, it's snaking its way back like this. So it's not doing a bad job in terms of the floor coverage and, oh, and it's parked itself in there. So let's watch that again. And you can see that, yeah, it, it is capable of going up the side. So there's no problem with slippage or anything like that, really. So maybe that is low battery. I need to get another time lapse when it's got full battery in the thing and do it for an hour and see but you know it, it does seem to map reasonably well but then it does like some weird things and it didn't get full coverage on the sides and why it can't go up 
this side here, it's a, I believe it's a similar curvage start. Um, I don't know. I would have expected it. If it can get right up the 1.6 meters up the other end just like that, no, no problem. Why can't it get up this side over here? But yeah, I'm, I'm not getting full coverage on the walls, but I think ultimately it probably did a reasonable job with the floor of the pool. So... Yeah, it's it's not too bad. Maybe if you ran it for two hours, but it's certainly not, you know, this whiz bang AI intelligently mapping the pool and learning and stuff and why it's skidding there. I can only presume it's skidding on the um, surface of the uh, uh, LED lights there. But you know, it's it's well, there we go. It goes up that side, but it doesn't seem to want to go up this shallow side. So I don't know. Don't know what the deal is there. Anyway, it's strange. But yeah, this crisscross pattern, I expected to for it to be better on that. And as you've seen in a previous live video, it was actually crisscrossing like this. And it actually did a really good job of actually like and and here here it is again. It turns around, it moves a bit, and it and it comprehensively covers that. But it certainly didn't get all the walls. So there you go. Um yeah, that's the Maddie Mac i60. I need to do another time lapse with full battery because I suspect there's some sort of battery, low power mode. So if you're Maddie Mac, um, please let me know. Um, is this to be expected? Is this programmed in or something like that? I guess, you know, it's my robot. I should, I should be able to tell it what to do. If I say go for the full hour and, you know, like go in war mode, I want it war mode. <laughs> and why is it not going up the shallow sides here? So that's a bit of a bummer. But anyway, um, maybe another two hour time lapse. So yeah, it's okay-ish, but maybe more practice required. I have another start, another time lapse from the deep end, I think, and see if there's any difference in there. And maybe it got confused by something. It does seem to work with the pool cover on. I did put the pool cover on and it seemed to map. You know, I didn't get a time lapse of that. I just poked my head under uh, and occasionally. It was still doing its thing. Um, so it didn't seem to be confused by that. And it went right to the top and poked its nose, sort of like pushed on the uh, pool cover. So it was able to get up there. Um, and yeah, but uh, AI, AI, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thoughts and comments down below, but more time lapse required. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. Catch you next time. Isn't it cute? Go, oh, his name is Platty, by the way. This is Platty.